Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. A question asked all the time in comments, streams, and social posts, and it's become so common that I decided to make a dedicated video for this. It's about jitter aiming, also called recoil smoothing. Now first up, let's discuss what this is and how to do it. Jitter aiming at its most simplistic form is jiggling or vibrating to outpace the recoil pattern from various loadouts on Apex Legends. The most infamous is the flatline. While having a heavier horizontal recoil, it also has a slower recoil compared to the other loadouts, of course, which makes it much easier to outpace the recoil. This is possible on other loadouts, but you need to be able to beat the recoil speed and also, of course, the rate of fire. This jiggle or vibration requirement will also vary depending on your own sensitivity settings, so keep that in mind. What we're going to do real quick is showcase a more extreme example. I drop my sensitivity all the way down to 0.1, which is super low, to highlight the example. Also use a 3 times magnification to also drop to a 0.1 sensitivity. The game likes to round up, so it does do stuff and moves to a 0.2, but in the config file on the back end it says 0.1. This sensitivity is a bit unrealistic, but you can see the movement goal is to outpace the recoil. Let's compare this concept to a controller. We have at one point or another played a game called Mario Party. We don't always just spam the button with your thumb. That leverage makes it hard to create a bounce to press the button over and over. The strategy, of course, was to use your index finger and vibrate or jitter at a faster pace to press the button even faster to beat the actuation point. And of course, on controllers that had a smoother button rather than a more clicky feel, this was much easier to achieve. Now imagine this concept of moving your arm or wrist at accelerated pace. Think of this concept further if you had perfect aim. You could reset over and over to the center to obtain perfect accuracy. Remember, faster rate of fire, the faster you need to flick or reset to the center. Let's break down the questions. Why do people call this a glitch? It's not a glitch, it's just spamming your button for Mario Party because it's just quote unquote a technique because apex legends has the same recoil when you aim your gun this mechanic is then for possible any game with a predictable recoil pattern this mechanic can be utilized so the next question can you do this in other games for games like csgo or valorant you can use it slightly and i say that term very loosely but if you're trying to spray down an opponent you're essentially playing those games all wrong and this type of game like csgo it's all about first shot accuracy. You really fail to understand the fundamentals of the first shot accuracy principle. Headshots mean everything in Valorant and CSGO, and you do not want to continue spraying down a hall because you know you're going to get eliminated. I installed Valorant in the background just to showcase the Vandal. Excuse my poor recoil control because I don't really play Valorant, but even with one minute of attempting, you can see the spread is much greater and the recoil is very random. You cannot predict randomness and fight to outpace the random spread. It helps to improve the recoil, but remember the rule of these type of games, first shot accuracy. If you're late for heading the headshot, then you're going to lose your encounter. There's no reason to control recoil. You play this type of FPS game incorrectly. At a lower rate of fire, of course, this is definitely going to be more possible in terms of jitter aiming, but of course games like this will punish you if you keep spraying because they ensure the bullets, despite good recoil control, are going to be more random as you keep spraying. In games like Apex Legends, it's not about your first shot, it's about maintaining your shot. Other loadouts that require precision, while well, jitter aiming is just not needed, just precision, such as a longbow or a wingman. If Apex Legends had incredibly punishing spread, our movement tech would be rendered useless, 80-80 spam would be horrible, and landing shots at distance would be impossible and very frustrating, especially in a battle royale setting. So the next question is, is this a good technique to use? Kind of because it's situational, I recommend the following steps before utilizing jitter aiming. Learn the recoil pattern of the gun. Learning the pattern, just the initial pull is important because it does not change. This means you can predict it and don't need a jitter until after the initial tug or pull of the recoil. Next up, build good aim habits first. Going right into jitter aiming is really bad if you're trying to learn basic mouse control. Speaking from personal experience and other pearls within the scene, your goal initially is to have stable aim and remove shakiness, aka panic aiming. Jitter aiming is only going to make this habit much worse. Only use this technique once you have stability within your own aim. That way you don't build bad habits, because once a habit is formed, it's going to be really difficult to break. Is this good while tracking well one technique is micro flicking and tracking this is done by mini flicking instead of a smooth track the best advice overall is to find what works best for you ask yourself questions does this feel comfortable after long hours of use if so then you're good to go does this highlight my strengths as an aimer if not no problem just remember to always find comfort consistency and adding a technique that won't impact your aim negatively i hope you guys all found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video